This is a massive uh, pool, water collection facility inside the major architecture. One of the most amazing parts of our travels to Guatemala is the fact that we were going to go see the Popol Vuh. Popol Vuh is essentially the Mayan creation myth, and a lot of historians believe that it was a contaminated document because they believed it happened somewhere along during the Spanish conquest. And so they believed part of the mythology was Mayan, and then part of it was um, from Spanish Catholicism. And the significance, and in going under this tent and seeing it face to face, uh, was the fact that this artifact predates anything they thought by a millennium. And to be realizing as we're walking in this tent that I'm not in a museum, I'm not in the British Museum or in the Mexico City Anthropology Museum, I am where this structure was created and built. And not only am I looking at it, but the fact that Dr. Hansen is explaining to us that this Popol Vuh, this freeze, is only 24 meters of it is uncovered. It continues to expand around this ancient reservoir system for hundreds of meters. And he put it so well, he said, it's kind of like today if we were to find the Mona Lisa in the sewage system. It is going to rewrite Mayan history, and we are the first to show it to the world. This is going to be something you haven't seen before, but it is going to give us uh, an opportunity to show you some of the most uh, amazing features of pre-classic iconography and pre-classic ideology in full manifestation. Here we go. Oh my gosh! This, this is, is this like... has not been stabilized, hasn't been consolidated, it's just the way we excavated it. Wow. We're in the process now of working with this, but you're looking at a rich cosmological scene. When did you discover this? Just uh, a few months ago. So you're the first uh, professional company to ever look at this art. This is the creation story. This is the creation of the story, people. and it goes back to at least 300, 200 BC. What was it like? Just that moment of discovery when you realized what this is. Immediately, I saw the head. I realized with the number one and the, and the scroll out of the. I thought, I thought, can this be the Popol Vuh? I was stunned. They had a series of pools with two waterfalls, dual waterfalls that fell into an, another pool. And then the side of their pools were richly decorated with extraordinary art on two levels. It shows the wealth of their society. That they could put this they could drainage. Put on a drainage. On a, on, a, yeah, on a water pool. For hundreds of meters. That's right. Around the whole pool. Yeah, that's this right. Is this, is, this keeps on going. Around the whole reservoir. That you see something like this and you realize that we've only opened up less than one percent of the site of El Mirador. Dr. Hansen has basically rewritten the Mayan history books that said the, the, the top of the society, the renaissance of, of Maya was the classic and actually it was a thousand years before the pre-classic were not primitive villagers, these were the real uh, founders of the Maya Empire. Yeah, these were the major players and these, this was essentially the capital of the world in the Western Hemisphere. Right one here. At one period of time. Yeah. It's amazing.